Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero, and welcome to the 250th video milestone special. <laughs> Not really sure if it can be called a special anymore. Anyway, we now have 250 videos released to the public on my channel. Although, technically, to me, I have 263, because there's 13 video videos you guys haven't seen yet. They're yet to be released, so uh, stay tuned for those coming later this week and the weekends well the weeks following and I think that's enough filler <laughs> all right so in the last uh, milestone video I said well we did it was the hundredth video and uh, then I thought that was a lot of videos and 250 videos is a lot of videos now I was gonna do a 200 200 video milestone thing but then I realized wait a minute if I did it every hundred I would be doing that all the way up to like a thousand. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a hundred, a two fifty, a five hundred, a seven fifty, and a thousand. And when we get to a thousand, it's going to be split up into five hundred video, five hundred videos, and then so on and so forth. And I don't think I'm going to be reaching three thousand anytime soon. So we can deal with that in the later future. Anyway, uh, so yeah, continued series. As I stated before, Assassin's Creed 3 is still going to turn into Skyrim, although it's not going to be a complete playthrough of Skyrim, um, c as that would take way too long to actually do, because I've heard of people who have put 750 hours into Skyrim and they haven't completed it even then. I'm not sure why I missed that brief. Anyway, um, n not even completed it then, so it's going to be the missions that I like, the missions that I find interesting, something like that just to kind of spice things up because people seem to enjoy stuff that it's scripted. I released a Far Cry video, uh, Death by Fire, and it has an, a large number of views on it and that was one of the only episodes I actually did like from start to finish. Like in the start I said hello and at the end of the episode I said goodbye. It, it wasn't a recording session episode. That was the only one that I've ever done like that. And it was... Well, other than the ME3 series, ME3 Monday series. So it was, um... Yeah, that's an awesome explosion. Uh, so it, it was... I'm not sure why, but p apparently people like that. So that's what I'll be doing with Skyrim. It's going to take a little bit more editing, and I'm not sure an upload schedule for the Skyrim. It definitely will not be every second day. I'm going to have to play around with the upload schedule, so you guys might not be getting a, a video every single day as you are currently. So, uh, yeah. Anyway... Uh, Crisis 3. Crisis 3 is almost over. I have actually beat it, and I am working on the um, Easter eggs in it video right now. There are only there are only a couple, but that are f quite funny to see. Anyway, yeah, that'll be replaced by the original Crisis playthrough. Um, I've never actually played the original Crisis, despite being a incredible Crisis fan. Um, so. Yeah, we'll definitely be playing through that, and that will provide many hours of enjoyment for you and for me. Uh, right, and then when eventually, when we do finish Far Cry 3, which we're in episode, I believe I'm rendering 53 right now. Yeah, I'm rendering episode 53. Damn, that is loud. Uh, I'm rendering episode 53 right now, so it'll be definitely going on for a little while yet. And we're not even on the uh, second island yet. So, uh, yeah, but I was going to replace it, originally I said with Bioshock, but I'm kind of leading away from that right now, because a lot of people are doing Bioshock playthroughs, and, like, with Bioshock Infinite just being released, and I, I, dis I wanted to do a playthrough of that, but I knew a lot of the bigger gaming channels would be doing that, and I didn't want to just be that the, the another small-time YouTuber who did a playthrough. Um, so it could be Bioshock, maybe I'll do uh, Star Wars Repu Republic Commando, it's somewhat of an older game now, but it's still one of the best Star Wars games I've ever played, and I'm, I love Star Wars. It's it was ba it was the first science fiction movie that I really saw, so it holds a special place in my heart. And um, Empire, yeah, Empire was the best. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm just going through my game selection here. Huh. Nah, there's really any others that I would want to show. Uh, I guess I guys want to say chess master. <laughs> um, yeah, so it could be Provoke Commando. Um, there are some games in my Steam library I could do. Uh, maybe a Dirt Showdown, some racing games. I could even do a Half-Life playthrough. Um, 
I could attempt to restart Minecraft, although Minecraft is something I'm kind of afraid of, as it could go on for a little... <laughs> it goes on for a while. Yeah. And I actually had minimized my Windows Movie Maker window there, I'm trying to sync up the uh, audio, so it might be a little bit desynced now because I had to restart it. Anyway. Um, Alright, there's going to be a possible collaboration, well, there is going to be a collaboration in the future with another YouTuber. I'm not going to mention his name yet, but yeah, there is going to be a collaboration, and I believe it's going to be with Elite Sniper, uh, the Zombies mod, because uh, I looked at it after he mentioned it, and it was it was really good, so we might be doing that in the future. Um, yeah. Now, uh, one thing I want to mention here, the M9 Tempest against armor, not a good idea, because you can fire at least three clips before it'll actually take them down, and which, that's with the aid of the Reeve damage, bu damage buff. So, yeah. Alright, now, speaking of ME3, uh, I would like to thank uh, Brad. Brad318, I think that's your name, I'm sorry, I can't remember it right now. Um, anyway, you created the unofficial challenges for Mass Effect, and... Well, thank. I'd just like to say thank you for that. That was a big help. It provided me with something to title my episodes with, because that was one of my actually my largest concerns when uh, Mass Effect stopped doing their weekend events. Yeah. Um, user suggestions. Um, people like Brad. Uh, hopefully, there's a couple more of you out there that would actually suggest for me to play games. Because if there's any games you guys want me to play, I'll be happy to take them into consideration. And I'm gonna get about like 13 revives in a couple seconds. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so any games, any games you guys want me to play or test out or even review for that matter, I will. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot something. And another possible f possibility for um, the Far Cry 3 is I want to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and eventually Assassin's Creed 4 when it comes out. Um, yeah, so that's a possible continuation after Far Cry 3. Um, yeah. And then, going back to ME3 again, uh, ME3 Season 2, which we are currently in, is comprised of 20 episodes, each of a silver wave, and yeah. But Season 3 is going to be a tad different, and by that time I start releasing Season 3, I hope to have a little bit more of a user interaction, like a commenter interaction, so you, I want to do it so you guys choose my loadout that I use for the video. And I'll use that loadout to um, do whatever the uh, do whatever the challenge is. Like you guys, you guys can suggest the challenge or something like that. And if there is none, then I'll I'll think of one or I'll go to an official challenges weekend or something like that. Anyway, yeah. So season three that will be coming sometime in the summer. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of the analytics. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you a lot because YouTube posts restrictions against that. Um, like you're not allowed to talk about some stuff. But I, I can tell you guys this. I can tell you this. Eh, speak hex. I can tell you, tell you guys this. Uh, my top viewed video currently is the Far Cry 3 Episode 3 Stealth is Beast with 225 views. Um. Wow, thank you. <laughs> that is a lot of views. Um, I never expected that one to get so many views, but it's apparently it's gotten quite a large impact. Uh, so yeah, and then my second top is currently the Assassin's Creed 3 Episode 6, our first large-scale battle with 72 views. Uh, yeah, so I... Yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody who's viewed those videos, and if you haven't seen them yet, go ahead and check them out. Uh, apparently, they're pretty awesome. Yeah. So, on the 100th video milestone, I believe I had somewhere like 13 subscribers, maybe, and now, as of me speaking right now, we have 28. So, uh, that's a large increase. Uh, we're, we're going up, we're definitely going up, so, um, please suggest to your friends and everybody else that if you like, if you like what, I've, what content I'm producing, just, um, tell them about it. And if, the, if you think they'd enjoy it or something like that. So yeah, I try to keep a well-rounded gaming experience so everybody can enjoy it. And if not, please give me constructive cri constructive criticism. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, and then to finally kind of end it off here, I'd like to thank all of you 
for viewing and favoriting and commenting subscribing and all of that um i've really enjoyed doing youtube so far it's impacted my personal life just a little bit but it's not that much because i do so much gaming anyway and i might as well film it <laughs> yeah i am about to get flattened by that victorian oh yep there we go so um yeah well uh, that's really it there's not much else to talk about um kind of looking around I've cleared my pad of what I wanted to do so I guess I'll talk about what's happening in the video right now um like the previous 100 video milestone or whatever I recorded this gameplay I actually went through a couple gameplay videos um looking for the perfect one the one that was short enough really because this one is currently almost 15 minutes the video length not how long I've been talking um so yeah, I went I went through it looking for a game that I really wanted to do, and I, w I wanted to use this character because I love biotic detonations, and I also like the color scheme. Um, so yeah, I wanted to use this character with the M9 Tempest because I just got that submachine gun, and I really like the submachine gun. I just wish I had a little bit more of a little bit higher of a damage output. Um, yeah, so I recorded it, and now I'm just commentating over it. And again, Windows Movie Maker seems to be in annoying I dance with this abomination for a while um, it seems to be annoying me and not recording any narration so I'm just using a separate program to record narration then I'm going to edit it will export it to the WAV and then edit it into the um, actual Windows Movie Maker file so yeah um, this was a bronze match because typically because bronze matches tend to be shorter against the collectors as you can already tell um, yeah, it was it was a challenge to do it because uh, it, my team was pretty awesome in this. We got a lot of revives and everything else like that. But I think I should have made a couple suggestions to target the um, scions first because uh, they can really flatten your team, especially on Rio, because it's a really long, drawn-out map, and so they have a nice well a nice kill zone. They can kill you from a long distance and you won't be able to do anything against them unless you have a, a long range weapon or maybe at least a medium range weapon so uh... yeah slight problems there uh, yeah i'm just emphasizing the fact that it's extraction time we have two minutes left so i gotta find something to talk about for the next two minutes hmm. Oh, the M9 Tempest seems to do really, get really good against barriers and shields. Um, it does oh medium against health, and then I don't know what I was doing there, <laughs> but against armor, it's just complete not good. Yeah, and I, I wish they'd fix that animation where you you stomp but your foot isn't on their head. Like I'd wish they'd fix the Banshee uh, Death Orb, whatever they throw. I can't, I'm surprised I don't know. But uh, whatever they throw, I wish they would fix it so it moves a little bit faster and it isn't moving incredibly slow. And then me and the Scion, I eventually do kill the Scion, but it takes a while. A long while. And I'm aiming, I figured out that if you aim for the sacks on the back, it does a little bit more damage against it. I think it depletes at least one of the armor bars. See, I just cracked it and it killed one of them. Um, and then I believe if you target the wounded area, then it gives a little bit more of damage. I'm not sure if they went to that much specifics with their characters, but maybe they did, and if not, it gives you something to shoot. <laughs> so, yeah. And here I'm being a little bit reckless. Normally I'd be inside of the extraction area by 30 seconds just to give my teammates some cover fire when they go in, but they were already in, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stand out here because I have a clear corridor of, uh, of ammo and firing range so yeah I stayed here um, yeah not much more to talk about the pole I teched to have a lot of recharge because I wanted to wanted to be able to spam it yeah that's about it um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you all continue to watch and view all of my videos so thank you goodbye hexagon zero signing out